What is up peeps, FCWTV HD here and today I'm going to do a tutorial video, first one for a while and it's basically showing you how to make channel art like this that you see on the screen right now. So what you have to do firstly is go to pixlar.com forward slash editor. Now when you go onto that site you'll see a page like this and this is the first thing you're going to come up against <laughs> and uh, you need to, literally the first thing you need to do is create a new image. Now. Uh, the image size is not on the list, so you need to type in the uh, the stuff you need yourself. So the biggest, this is going to be the biggest thing, this is what you're going to see if you're on a TV and you're going to someone's channel, which I don't know how to do, but if you're on a TV and you go to someone's channel, this is the biggest uh, channel uh, like uh, you're going to see, this is the biggest it can get. So you do 2560 oh, and you do it by 1440, oh. so you do that, uh, 440, oh, not 4. Oh, oh, and I advise that you make it transparent and there we go this is the biggest it's going to get and now you have your whole area uh, and then what you need to do before you start doing your work and all your magic you need to kind of uh, um, add a new layer not a new layer what am I doing not a new layer all right you actually need to make a new image and you, you're probably thinking why do I need to make a new image well it's all part of the uh, whole process really you need to make one that will be seen on the desktop don't worry you will be adding this as a layer to your main screen you'll see what i'm talking about later so it's gonna be the same thing 2560 you need the uh, same thing and then you need 423 for the height so 423 and you do it like that uh don't make that one transparent and there you go so what you need to do is you need to save that okay after that one is saved you need to go to the next one which um is used mainly for tablets this is what you'll see if you're on a tablet it's because when you're on a phone a desktop TV anything like that is always different screen sizes so it will squish or expand depending on what device you're using this is why you need to kind of know what areas you need to work in and uh, after this I'll be creating what is called the safe area uh, after I save this one alright so now you need to make what is the safe uh, the safe area as it said and usually uh, the, is, is seen on the mobile. It's the smallest you're gonna get. What am I doing? It's the smallest you're gonna get. So uh, it's, it's, you need to do this to know. This is where you're gonna kind of um, work. This is where it's gonna all happen. Really, you need to put most of your stuff in here. Okay, yeah. So once you've made that, you need to go on and save it, of course. And once you have saved them, you can just close them. And then what you do is you go to layer, open image as layer, and you need to find the layer. So as you can see, I've got the three layers here, so I'm just going to open them one at a time. And you can see it's already placed itself in where I want it to be. And uh, best thing to do is when you open the new layer, let's get it out. Which you'll see here. Best thing to do is kind of give it a new colour so you know exactly the differences in a way, I would say the differences. Let's give one a new colour, so kind of, uh, let's make it a bit, a bit darker but not exactly uh, there we go so you, you know exactly where to work and what's going on and then you need to open the last one there we go uh, you can keep it white if you want but I'm going to uh, make it a bit lighter of a grey so now I know where I need to work this whole area here is your safe area it's the best places we need to put most of your stuff the name and everything like that now, it also depends what you want uh, to, to do and to use and what you want in there, uh, what type of channel you are, that's really really determines what you need in there. Uh, if you're a channel that does uh, gaming, what games do you primarily play? Do you play quite mainstream games like Call of Duty, FIFA, Battlefield, do you play those types of games? Because if you do, you need to put stuff to do with that in there because your channel art is telling the, the, uh, the person who's visiting your channel what you have on your channel. Although, you might, uh, if you're quite a variety channel and you don't do a lot of stuff similar to mine as you saw in my one, you don't need to put specific pictures, you just need to put something that's quite eye-catching in a way so um, let's start let's start working with this stuff and let's see what we can do so first off my first advice is finding a, a, a full background something that you, uh, you, you this is what would determine your color scheme of the whole channel to be honest uh, you know, usually your thumbnails are better off to match uh, your uh, your whole um, channel art which sets your channel theme so choose this color wisely and choose what you want wisely you can have a very simple background if you want uh, it's, it's really up to you you can choose uh, a gradient uh, something similar to this of any sort so you can change the gradients up here I'll show you how to do that so first off you obviously click to this box here as you can see uh, and it's uh, it allows you to have a gradient now it looks you know it looks nice it does look alright there's nothing wrong with it it does look okay 
but to be honest in my eyes it doesn't seem well I'd say professional enough in my eyes it doesn't seem quite well I just said professional <laughs> it doesn't see yeah it doesn't seem professional enough in my eyes um, and as, as detailed and eye-catching in my eyes but of course it's up to you let's add something mm, quite commonly used that you might even use in your thumbnails let's add a, a certain picture I'll show you what it is right now Okay, so do as usual, go to open image and open layer, here's some pictures that I have. And there's one called Red Sunburst here, which I have. I have a few sunbursts here, which are quite nice to be fair. Uh, you can make them yourself, uh, usually on Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, just simply go into Google, as I'll show you right now, and you can search stuff like Red Sunburst, like that, uh, Sunburst Background. And it, if you go to images, you'll find something very, very similar to what you're talking about. It's called Sunburst, and it's quite, yeah, as you can see there. And obviously, choose what you want. Uh, this is basically for beginners, so if you know how to make this stuff and you want to kind of make your own background, uh, definitely do that. That is entirely up to you, but this is for people who uh, can't really make this stuff and just want to make a professional looking background quite easily. So this is a very, very easy way. So I've got some here, so I'm going to go and open that up, and let's open this. And of course you'll see you actually can't see it. That's because it's very, very tiny. So you just need to free transform it and make it big. It may seem a bit blurry uh, depending on the size of the file. But again, this is just a tutorial. It's nothing specific um, and I'm not exactly going to use it. So that's a certain background and that's going to set the theme. Now you want, uh, usually you kind of want to put up your YouTube name, something that's quite... Uh, you know, something you want in mainly the middle to kind of stand out and uh, get the eye so they know exactly what's going on, <laughs> although they should. But if you want, you can use the text, and they have a few styles here that you could do. So let's say, uh, just do my channel name, FTW TVHD, uh, and they have some fonts here. Not the best fonts in my eyes. Let's change the color to like yellow, just just so we know we can see it. And um, they, they have some fonts there for you, which, to be honest, in my eyes, aren't the best fonts. They're not. They're not really good, they're not really nice, and it's just, and the rest are quite dull from there on. Uh, so, in my, uh, in my uh, I believe, sorry, that you should actually go to a font site, instead of downloading the fonts, because, uh, why am I duplicating? <laughs> uh, that instead of downloading the fonts, you can actually just get the image, but I'll show you what I'm talking about now. So go to fontspace.com, and what you can do is click on browse, and uh, find a certain style of fonts that you like. Let's just go to futuristic because um, a lot of people tend to like futuristic and use futuristic. Okay, so now you're on the futuristic page and you have some fonts in front of you that you want to use and they have their names and stuff. They've got quite famous fonts, they've got quite popular fonts and they've got quite new and interesting fonts. I tend to like this one here called Trench and uh, let's just go by the name of uh, Gamer, Gamer, uh, Gamer Zero, like that. Let's just go by that. And uh, there we go. I quite like this font. I quite like what it looks like. It looks simple and also quite, you know, neat. I like the neat look of it. It's not too insane and it's not too much. So instead of downloading it, save this picture and then you can use it on Photo Edit Online. Type whatever name you want it to be. So let's just do Game Zero here. And it will save as a PNG file into your picture. Right, so now we're here and uh, we have the name pictures in our files and we're going to go and open it up. Okay, so when you open it up, the first thing you're going to see is this. The background will be gone. I won't be gone, sorry. It will still be there, even though it's a PNG file. It's just because the background is there. It's present. So what you need to do is Game Zero. You need to simply click on this bad boy here, which is the magic wand. And what it does, it selects everything around Game Zero. And you just press backspace and bang, the white is gone. Of course, there's a few outline bits. There's a few bits. Uh, inside the R's and the O's, we can just click inside and press backspace and it will delete it. Now you see there's a white outline, uh, that's because there's certain pixels that it, it can't reach, that may be just the slightest bit different shade. So what you do is you can go to your layer styles here on this specific layer and just do an inner shadow or an inner glow. You can do uh, inner glow actually. Do an inner glow and just make it straight black. And what it'll do, if you do it big enough, it will just get rid of it for you. There we go. So after you've done that, it's gone. Now if you want, of course, you can keep it like this, but it's not in the safe area, is it? No one can actually see what's going on. Only on the people on the TV can see that. So if you want to keep that up there, you can, obviously, for the people on the TV, which I might actually do. So let's keep that there and let's... Oh, I've got to keep duplicating. <laughs> uh, and then let's duplicate it. Only once, please. And let's shrink it down. So we get it into safe area. And let's do that. So we can do here, game is zero. And you could do that, and then it'll be right in the middle of the screen. If we get rid of these bad boys quickly, just get them out of the way. 
we can actually see what's happening here. So this is where game. This is what it would look like so far. Nothing too shabby, but it's decent. So uh, now we can see that game zero is there. So now what we want to do is you want to add something quite interesting. You want to add something unique. Uh, so let's say your channel is a, a, a gaming channel. You do. Uh, let's say you play COD. Uh, you play uh, Minecraft or something like that. You want to add something in there that's quite coddy or Minecrafty. So if you want, you can go and add some guns. So you can go onto Google and search for an image to do with the game you want or whatever, and add PNG at the end. What that does is it makes it makes it have no background and it makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker for you. If it doesn't, I'll show you how very very shortly. Actually, no, I already did show you how with the game zero uh, name how to get rid of a background. So now you can search up something. So if you want to do uh, COD, you can just do COD. PNG. Hopefully it doesn't actually come up with a cod fish. Go to your images and here are some PNG photos of cod. Uh, there's also some FIFA ones up there strangely. And the fish! Yes, the fish. <laughs> so let's say you play let's say you play Modern Warfare 3. You want to include this one. This one looks quite fancy and uh, you want to include that. So you can. It depends whether or not it's a PNG photo. Let's hope it is a PNG photo. Uh, it doesn't look so, which is unfortunate, but um, yeah, it's very hard to tell whether it's a PNG or not. Usually, you'll see little uh, white and grey squares in the background. So let's just uh, let's just include this bad boy here. I like this one. This one's from Black Ops 2, I believe. Uh, get that bad boy and uh, let it load up here. You got to let it load up on the screen below if you're on Google or something like that because um, that's the way it is. Uh, save picture as. So here we are again, and you need to open that image up. Okay, so the image is opened up, and unfortunately. He actually isn't a PNG photo, which is unfortunate, but what you can do is you can zoom in here, just use your mouse to roll in and out. If you don't have a mouse you have, and you, you have a um, touchpad, just go down here where my cursor is now and type in what you want. So let's go to 51 and it will zoom into 51%. So uh, you do that and what you got to do is do the same thing, use the magic wand and do that and it will delete it. Uh, if you don't, if you can't use the magic wand, say for the background is maybe, you know, maybe the background's too complex and the colours, you know, don't exactly contrast so it doesn't work. You can just go down here and use the lasso tool. I'm not sure what you would call it, a leash, I'm not sure. Uh, and you go to, okay, it's literally the lasso tool. So polygonal lasso tool, lasso tool, sorry. And you can literally just click, click. And what it does is it's basically you're choosing where you want to select. And click, click, click. And click. And it will select and you press backspace. Bam, it's gone and sometimes you may actually have uh, let's choose a rubber here you may actually have these lines popping up this is just because of the picture it, it, as I said similar to the white outline on here is it, it just can't you know select that maybe because it's a slightly different shade so what you do is you go to brush here and rubber uh, go to diameter down here and increase it to get the biggest size possible and just simply get rid of it it's not hard you just go around until it's gone there we go, and uh, now it's gone. Uh, of course, you have the same problem as you did with the um, game zero, and you have white outline. Do a similar process. Uh, do a color. You can maybe do black. If black doesn't work because it looks kind of weird having black, uh, you can do other stuff. But we're just gonna do. Uh, let's do a color that's quite involved there. Maybe green. No, not green. Ugh, that's disgusting. A black. A more black green. All right, do that. And it, to be honest, it does look like kind of fades in a bit. And just do that. Uh, this is probably the best you can do using this, so it's not going to look amazing. But it's just again, again, it's just a simple, uh, a simple thing to do. And uh, go here if you want. You can flip it, flip it around. Let's flip that. You can do a uh, layer, then you can go flip horizontal. Let's flip that bad boy and keep it in the safe area. Make sure you're always keeping it in the safe area because that's where it matters. Make sure game zero is on top of it. Now, uh, a problem you might come across here, as you can already see, is that you can't really see Game Zero because it's just black. Well, this is where, you, you, you know, you start getting a bit more creative. You can add more colour and stuff, so, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to add colour to Game Zero. So you go Layer, Layer Styles, I'd say the best thing to do already is go to Outer Glow and give it an Outer Glow. That's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, give it an Outer Glow. So, it, obviously, so it can contrast a bit better with the image. Layer Styles, please, please, please. Outer Glow. And give it a maybe. You can make it maybe a bit harder, a bit bigger. Uh, maybe a white. A white will make it contrast quite nicely. And there we go. So you can do that. And um, if you want, you can obviously just uh, you can duplicate this bad boy and uh, just put that one here. Because if you're like me, I'm quite 
I, I, I don't like something if it's not symmetrical. So if, if there's one thing there, I need it on the other side. I, I, I don't know why I'm like that. <laughs> but I am. If you're like me, uh, just do the same thing here. Just flip it over. And bang. It's already looking quite quite neat and quite formal already. Uh, let's also add an outer glow. Actually, no, you don't need an outer glow there. Who needs an outer glow there? Um, so let's take this off and see how it's going. Oh, crap. Uh, and it's, it's looking all right so far. It's looking okay. Uh, let's keep let's let it, uh, keep safe areas, and uh, what else can we add to it? Just add something little. All right, gamer zero. We can add literally a zero because it's gamer zero. So let's get something circular, something uh, quite nice and circular. Of course, this doesn't provide you with the tools to make something quite nice and quite unique. Uh, so again, we're going to go on Google and search PNG circle. So I looked up uh, circle design and I found something that I quite uh, I quite like, quite like, quite like. And uh, it's just something quite simple. Don't go for something too insane, otherwise it'll just look too much. So let's open up the circle here. And again, it's got a white background, so you need to do the same thing. And that is to get rid of it. Again, I would like to stress um, that this is just uh, a tutorial. It's nothing detailed. I'm not going to try and get the best of the best. I'm just trying to show you how so you can get the best yourself. It makes it a lot easier. Um, yeah, we're just going to rush through this, and after you've done that, same thing, layer styles, inner glow, let's do, 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 do the colour, just go outside, choose this, and it'll be the same colour. Uh, increase the size, and pow, there we go, we've got something quite nice. There we've got our circle, and you want to kind of, let's see what we can do with this. We can obviously zoom that in like that. Game is zero. Uh, where have my layers gone? If you get, yeah, if you lose something like my layers here, just go view layers, it will come back. That's just something for you guys to know. Um, Power Gamer Zero is on top of it. Here is the small circle logo here. Um, if you want, you can even take it a bit further and put something else in there. But I, I like this. I like this look here. I think it's just it's it's not obviously it's not amazing, but it's just uh, an interesting uh, design there. So there's Gamer Zero. Oh, obviously. The background, you can't, it clashes with the background, which is unfortunate. Layer styles, do an outer glow, uh, make it quite a big one and give it, let's say, white, a white outer glow. It looks nice. I like the look of that, actually. I do like the look of that. Um, now, looking at it, preferably, I would just like that. It looks quite simple, quite unique. Uh, one thing I'll always say is, uh, is if you feel like you want more, add more. You know what I mean? Don't obviously don't go insane, but if you feel like you want more, Add me, but I, I personally, um, I personally like the look of this. It's just quite simple. It looks quite professional in my eyes. I, I quite enjoy that. Fudge! Whoa, that's a big one. Yeah, so I, I think it looks quite professional. Of course, I, I do. Enjoy, I do enjoy the look of that. And uh, if, you, if you want, obviously, you can get rid of this. And you know, it, it can be as simple as that, really. Uh, I'm going to teach you a few techniques here. So if you ever want to do them, you can. Uh, so let's do. Uh, one thing here which is free distort so you can make your thing kind of distort in a way look like this here's, here's a nice one this one actually makes it look quite quite good kind of looks like a more 3d effect and you might enjoy that i use that for my ftw tv hd one and uh that's one thing you can do of course which is quite nice another thing you can do is you can actually all merge these layers uh oh crap you can actually uh, merge these layers which is quite nice uh, just delete that, delete that, delete everything I'm not using anymore. You can delete all those uh, guidelines you're using and uh, you can actually merge everything. Uh, so go layer, merge down, and it will merge it down. But you don't really want to because it's going to use the same effects. If the layer is uh, different layer styles to the other one, as you can see here, we'll have different, we'll have obviously the same layer styles, but we'll have different colors and stuff. and. I feel like that would just collide and it would look very, very bad. <laughs> but uh, that looks quite nice. I'm actually quite happy with that. If, you know, if your name is Gamer Zero, use this one. I'm fine with it. If your name is that, go ahead, use it. I'm okay. I actually quite like that one. So this is just a quick tutorial I wanted to show you guys. Sorry if I kind of rambled on a bit more if I made just a few stupid mistakes because I know I did. Uh, but yeah, this was FTW TV HD. Hit the like button in the face if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. This one, as I said, is for beginners. It's for people who don't exactly know how to make people from scratch. You know, I'm actually one myself. I don't know how to make all these insane graphics designs. Designs, but I just want to kind of show you how to make it look professional in a much easier way. So, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.